Today's lesson, 5.6, describing number patterns. The first thing that we're going to talk about is an arithmetic sequence. Um, below I have a picture of an arithmetic sequence. a to the n equals a plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. a to the n is the nth term. a, um, lowercase a, stands for the first term in the sequence. n is the term number and D is the common difference. Please make sure you label your notes this way. We have a couple of vocabulary words. Uh, the first one is sequence. A sequence is a number pattern. You can see in the example I have 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. So my number pattern is counting by twos. A term of a sequence is each number in the sequence. So in the previous example, the numbers in the sequence would be um, 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. If I wanted to guess the next term of my sequence, I would add 2, so I know that the next term of this sequence would be 10. An arithmetic sequence is one kind of number sequence found by adding a fixed number to each previous term. A common difference is the fixed number. And if you look at your formula above in your notes, the common difference, remember, is represented by the letter D. Inductive reasoning is making conclusions based on patterns that you observe. And a conjecture is a conclusion you reach by inductive reasoning. Example one, use inductive reasoning to describe the pattern and then find the next two terms. To go from one to three or three to nine, you can hopefully define the pattern as multiplying by three. One times three is three and three times three is nine. So the pattern is to multiply by 3. The next two terms in my pattern can be represented by 9 times 3, which is 27. And then 27 times 3, which is 81. In example two, the pattern is a little bit different. I have the numbers 1, 9, 25, and 49 in my sequence. If I write the numbers 1, 3, 5, and 7, maybe that will help. Hopefully you notice that 1 squared is 1 and 3 squared is 9. And 5 squared is 25 and 7 squared is 49. So the pattern is the squares of odd integers. The squares of odd integers. So the next two terms in my sequence would be 9 squared, which is 81, and 11 squared which is 121.
Example 3 says find the common difference of each arithmetic sequence. So here I just want to see what the change is from 5 to 2, or 2 to negative 1, or negative 1 to negative 4. And hopefully you notice that I am subtracting 3. So the common difference is subtract 3. So we represent that by D equals negative 3. The second example shows 8 to 11, 11 to 14, 14 to 17. So hopefully you notice that each time we are adding 3, so the common difference here, or D, is 3. Example 4, find the first, the fifth, and the tenth term of the sequence that has the rule a to the n equals 15 plus n minus 1 times 5. Well, hopefully you remember from the beginning of our notes that the first term is the first number in our sequence. So the first term is 15, and I'm going to show you why that works. I'm going to substitute in the number 1 for n, so I have 15 plus the quantity 1 minus 1 times 5. Now you and I both know that 1 minus 1 is 0, times 5 is 0, so a to the 1, or the first term of this sequence, is 15. To find the fifth term and the tenth term, I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to substitute in the value of 5 for n. 5 minus 1 is 4. 4 times 5 is 20. So 15 plus 20 is 35. So a to the fifth equals 35. To find the tenth term, same thing. I'm going to substitute in the number 10 for n. So I have 15 plus the quantity 10 minus 1 times 5. Ten minus one is nine. Nine times five is forty-five. So I really have fifteen plus forty-five, which is sixty. So the tenth term of my sequence is sixty. Check your understanding. We're going to use inductive reasoning to describe each pattern and then find the next two terms. In the first pattern, example A, I'm multiplying by 3. The pattern is to multiply by 3. So the next two terms in this sequence would be 81 times 3, which is 243. And then 243 multiplied by 3, which is 729. In the second example, B, I'm just adding 6. I'm adding 6 to each term. So the next two terms would be 27 plus 6, or 33, and 33 plus 6 which is 39. For the last example, I'm multiplying both terms by a negative 2. So 16, negative 16 times negative 2 is 32. And 32 times negative 2 is negative 64.
All right, find the common difference of each sequence. So here we're just trying to find D. What am I doing to each term in the sequence? Well, 11 to 23, 23 to 35, 35 to 47, it looks like I'm just adding 12. So the common difference, D, is 12. In the second example, I have 8 to 3, 3 to negative 2, negative 2 to negative 7. It looks here like I'm subtracting 5, so the common difference is negative 5. All right, find the first, the sixth, and the twelfth terms of each sequence. Again, we should know that the first term of each sequence is the first number after the equal sign in our sequence, or negative 5. But if I substitute in 1 for n, I see that negative 5 plus the quantity 1 minus 1 is 0 times 3, so a to the 1 is negative 5 a to the sixth, or the sixth term in my sequence, is negative 5 plus 6 minus 1 times 3. 6 minus 1 is 5 times 3 is 15. So a to the sixth is negative 5 plus 15, which equals 10. The last term, a to the twelfth, or the twelfth term in my sequence is negative 5 plus the quantity 12 minus 1 times 3. 12 minus 1 is 11, so I have negative 5 plus 33. Negative 5 plus 33 is 28, so the twelfth term of this sequence is 28. All right, the last example, a to the n equals 6.3 plus the quantity n minus 1 times 5. Well, again, I know that the first number in this formula or equation, 6.3, that is my first term. So a to the first is 6.3, but when I substitute in a 1, I see that 1 minus 1 is 0. So a to the 1, or the first term, is 6.3. For a to the sixth, or the sixth term, I'm going to substitute in the value 6 for n, so I have 6.3 plus the quantity 6 minus 1 times 5. Remember, that's the common difference. So 6.3 plus 6 minus 1 is 5, times 5 is 25. So the sixth term of this sequence is 31.3. The last example, a to the twelfth, I have 6.3 plus the quantity 12 minus 1 times 5. 12 minus 1 is 11 times 5, so 6.3 plus 55 is 61.3. So the twelfth term of this sequence is 61.3. All right, so your homework is on page 270, 4 through 40, multiples of 4, 49, 51, 55, 56, 58, 60, 71, and 73. Good luck.